In this video, we're going to talk about PRP or platelet-rich plasma, what it is, why it might work, and what injuries PRP might be especially useful for, especially in this case, patellar tendonitis and patellar tendinopathy. My name is Dr. David Geyer, double board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and media medical expert. I help you feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical history. Please understand in this video, I'm not giving you medical advice. This is meant for general information and educational purposes only. Before we can talk about why PRP might be helpful for patellar tendonitis and patellar tendinopathy, we have to discuss what PRP actually is. It's also known as platelet-rich plasma. It's a concentration of platelets that comes from your whole blood. It's put in a centrifuge and spun to create a ready to use and ready to inject product. PRP works by releasing cytokines and growth factors like platelet-derived growth factor, platelet-derived endothelial growth factor, transforming growth factor beta one, insulin-like growth factor one, fibroblast growth factor two, and vascular endothelial growth factor. You may not care about the names of any of those, and I don't want you to, but what I want you to understand is that these growth factors enhance healing by stimulating cell proliferation, migration, and differentiation. They modulate the immune system and inflammation and help with angiogenesis the development of new blood vessels in the damaged tissue. These growth factors are essential for the three phases of healing involved in the healing of injured tendons and ligaments, inflammation, proliferation, and remodeling. In theory, PRP allows for your own blood to provide a high concentration of growth factors that promote healing in sites that have limited healing capacity due to poor blood supply. PRP can also create a matrix that serves as a scaffold for the sustained release of those growth factors that help bring in healing cells and new blood vessels to help deliver nutrients to improve healing. Now, if we're gonna discuss why PRP might be helpful for patellar tendonitis and patellar tendinopathy, we have to discuss what those injuries actually are. Patellar tendonitis is a common source of pain in athletes of jumping sports, like basketball or volleyball. It's an inflammation of the patellar tendon, usually that develops over time. The athlete complains of pain at the lower part of the patella or the kneecap where the tendon attaches. You might also feel pain at the insertion of the patella tendon into the tibia at what's called the tibial tuberosity. It can be very painful for athletes who need explosive strength with jumping and pushing off. So it can significantly limit your ability to play at a high level. Treatment's almost always non-surgical. Short-term rest, that can be helpful, but sometimes that's hard to do in the middle of the season. Now, patellar tendinosis or patellar tendinopathy is a disease process or overuse injury in which an athlete develops a small area of degeneration within the patellar tendon. It can often be resolved with rest, activity modification, and physical therapy, but in a small percentage of athletes, it requires more aggressive treatment. Now let's look and see what the recent scientific studies tell us about PRP for patellar tendonitis and for patellar tendinopathy. Two different studies showed that PRP is better for patellar tendonitis than either a uh, basically placebo injection of saline, a control injection, or dry needling at one year follow-up. PRP was also better than shockwave for patellar tendonitis in terms of patient reported pain. Now two randomized control studies showed there was no difference between PRP and shockwave or dry needling at two to three months, but there was a significant difference and a significant benefit to PRP at six months and a year. In the same way, PRP outperformed corticosteroids or cortisone shots and ultrasound. Now it's important to understand that cortisone shots, steroid injections into a patellar tendon can have very negative effects on healing and future rupture of the tendon. PRP does not have those negative effects, but instead appears to help the tendon heal. A 2017 study showed that PRP can be helpful as a first-line treatment for patellar tendonitis and may actually accelerate the early recovery. Now, looking at patellar tendinopathy, also known as jumper's knee, that's that chronic pain in the patella tendon as a result of overuse. A recent article in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery found that the current scientific research supports the use of PRP as a treatment for chronic degenerative tendinopathies like lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow and patellar tendinopathy. One study looking at patients with patellar tendinopathy treated with PRP had significant improvement in pain and function. Over 80% of patients returned to their pre-symptom level of activity. A 2019 study showed that patients with patellar tendinopathy, PRP showed the greatest functional improvement and the greatest pain reduction compared with other treatment options. Now, the number of PRP injections has also been shown to have an effect on the outcome of treatment. With two injections, 
found to improve outcomes significantly more than a single injection. Now you have to understand with the research on PRP, there are a lot of different methods of preparation and different final products. PRP, leukocyte rich PRP, platelet rich fibrin, platelet gel, and many more. All of these platelet products have varying concentrations of plasma, blood cells, and fibrinogen. So they have different concentrations of growth factors, different concentrations of bioactive molecules, meaning they could have different results and different outcomes for different orthopedic problems. The exact composition of PRP isn't reported in many of the scientific studies. They might be leukocyte rich or leukocyte poor PRP and so many other variables. Plus, we all have different numbers of platelets in our blood, so studies comparing PRP can lead to different results. And then again, other than just the white blood cell content, all these studies differ in terms of the amount of blood harvested, the use of anticoagulant, the number of times it goes through the centrifuge, the final volume of PRP, the overall number of platelets, the activation of platelets, and many more variables. All of these factors could influence the properties of the final PRP product and how well the studies show that it helps in patients with these orthopedic problems. And again, PRP very often isn't covered by insurance. Most, most insurance companies consider PRP experimental and will not cover the treatments. And again, I'm not giving you medical advice. This information about platelet-rich plasma is intended for information and educational purposes only. So what can we conclude for all, from all these studies? Well, based on the recent studies, platelet-rich plasma offers a benefit. It may not be real significant at the early follow-up, one to two months, but it greatly exceeds the benefits over time, six months or longer compared to cortisone shots and all kinds of other non-surgical treatment options for patellar tendonitis. For pat patellar tendinopathy, PRP also appears to significantly reduce pain and improve knee function. Now, if you'd like to read the studies I mentioned in this video, I've provided links in the description below. If you like videos like this one with information about optimal health and wellness, healing and recovery from orthopedic injuries, so you can feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical history, subscribe to this channel. Click the bell to be notified when I release a new video or when I start a live stream. If you have patellar tendonitis, patellar tendinopathy, or some other injury, and you wanna see somebody who truly knows about bone and joint injuries in athletes and active people, I would love to help. I'm a double board certified orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist. I'd love to talk to you about all your options to recover from injury, not just surgery, cortisone shots, and physical therapy. Go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com. Go to the contact page to request an appointment to see me. The link to my website and the contact information is in the description below. My name's Dr. David Geyer. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to helping you feel and perform better than ever.